Hello everyone, today we meet again for a video a little special. We are on the PTR server which I remind you is a test server, what we will see here may change before being broadcast on the official server, do not forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel, do not hesitate to give your opinion on the update, I will pass the message to the developers. So we're going to talk about the anniversary event again, there will be a new feature that will increase the power of the skins you get during the event, so please don't activate your skins as soon as you get them. Wait to see if you can upgrade them or get new ones first. The developers have provided a message that warns you when a skins can be used for an upgrade. A confirmation is requested to be sure of your choice. So don't hesitate to think before you run. Let's start with the frames, you're going to have several choices and I'm going to advise you on how to get both frames in the smartest way possible. As you can see right here, you have three choices. You can get a frame for 10 badge of hope. You can also get a frame with a bigger bonus by exchanging a basic frame and 10 badges of hope for a frame with a bigger bonus. And the third choice requires two basic frames to exchange for one with a bigger bonus. You can get a frame through this store for 10 badge of hope. But you can get another one by being active during the airship building events at the last level. But don't exchange the two frames for the one with a better bonus, be active during the anniversary event and you will get enough badges of hope to exchange it. So you can exchange one of your frames and 10 badge of hope for the frame with a better bonus while keeping a basic frame. If you trade your two frames, you will get 2.50% bonus with the airship pilot frame. While if you use only one of these frames you will get the 2.50% and the 2% of the basic frame. So 4.50%. For the first skins of HQ, you will be able to exchange it with 50 badge of hope to get another skins. The basic skins provide a 1.50% bonus to troop attacks. The improved skins provide a 2% bonus. I advise you if you don't have many badges of hope to use the frames we saw before. 0.50% extra bonus will be less good than the 4.50% defense bonus provided by the frames. You can get the skin by helping in the construction of the airship. You will get EXP engineer to complete the different levels. You will have to collect toolkit technicians. So buy the pack at $4.99 and this one at $9.99. These technician toolkit will allow you to complete the progression towards the gold level. If you want to get the skin, you will have to get this gold level with 300 technician toolkit. Then you have to pay $19.99 to get the skin. For the last skins, it is very very particular. You can see that you will need 3 of these skins to unlock his evolution. You are probably wondering how to get these 3 skins? You will get the answer if you try to activate it. You will see the message that says that this skin could be offered to another player. I'm pretty sure that everyone will keep it for themselves. There is a surprise with the upgrade of this skins, there are actually 10 different ones. We don't know yet if there is any use, for example if you will be able to customize it with the hero of your choice or even if you will be able to activate it several times by changing heroes. Or maybe one activation unlocks all kinds and you can choose to change your style whenever you want? You can also receive this skin if you have won and kept two carnival skins, so it's rare to have two carnival skins in two years. Those who had it the first year didn't see the point of having it for the second year. We will not see the marching skins which have no absolute use, we have seen the most important information. Thanks for watching, don't forget the contest that should be announced on September 6th. Thanks for watching.